in this video we're going to try and integrate we are going to try and integrate this so your eyes should zoom into this bit then create a triangle in such a way that this will be true so create a triangle in such a way that this thing will be true well if you make the hypotenuse to be one and uh, and the opposite to be x then the adjacent then the adjacent will have no choice but to be square root one minus x squared so so let's sign remember sine theta sine theta is this sine theta will be opposite over over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so sine theta equals x so differentiate this thing that will then give you this so now well uh, we can put later on we can put this into the dx and then uh, and then looking at the same triangle uh, remember cos cos is like this cos theta cos theta is this thing is this thing over over the hypotenuse which is just simply this thing here so now we can put this so from the triangle you can obtain this from the triangle you can obtain this so now we can put this into the complicated bit here into this complicated bit here and then now we can put the the dx into this thing here and then uh, x to the power 4 well go back to here x to the power 4 will be sine to the power 4 so we can put sine to the power 4 into here so the, so uh, so that this thing here will then become this this thing here will then become this and then this thing here will then become this so now it's just a matter of tidying this up so if you tidy this up that will give that will give you sine to the power of four d theta. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. There are lots of ways in, of integrating this. Let's just use the reduction formula. So using the reduction formula, remember our n is four. Our n is four. So n is four. So using the reduction formula, um, minus one, minus one, uh, four. N is four. Remember four, and then four take away one. That would be three, and then. Uh, 4 take away 1, that would be 3, 4, 4, 4 take away 2, that would be 2. So using the reduction formula, this thing here boils down to, to this. Uh, now apply the reduction formula again on this. So now remember, this for the second time, our n here this time is 2. So n is 2. So so applying the reduction, applying the reduction formula on this will give us, will give us this thing here so hang on let's try and do it so remember n is 2 so negative 1 negative 1 n is 2 n is 2 and then 2 take away 1 that would be 1 and then uh, and then 2 take away 1 that would be 1 and then you've got your 2 and then 2 take away 2 that would be 0 so sine 0 x anything to the power 0 is 1 so, uh, so this thing boils down to this. So applying the reduction formula on this will then give us this. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So hang on. So, um, so, so hang on. Let me think. So tidy this up. Hang on. So, uh, so tidy this thing up. Um, this times this would give us this thing here, and then this times this would then give us this thing here. Uh, integrate this. So when you integrate one, it's just theta, and uh, so so this thing here will then become this. We will sort out our c late right at the end. So leave the c for the time being. So so our, our answer is this. But the thing is, we don't want the answer in terms of theta. Everything at the moment is in terms of theta. We don't want the answer in terms of theta. We want it in terms of x. So go back to the to the original diagram right from the above. So from the above, we created this diagram. So now let's translate all the thetas. So um, so sine sine is this thing here. Sine is uh, so sine uh, theta equals x. So if you want uh, sine to the power three, that would be x to the power three. So uh, so this thing here will then become. Hang on. So uh, so this thing here, this thing here will be will become x to the power three. And then now translate to cos theta. Well, cos is this thing here. So it would be this thing over the over the hypotenuse, which is one. So, uh, so this thing here would then give you this. So, how cos theta is this thing? Uh, sine to the power of three is this thing. Translate this. Remember, sine is um, sine sine theta equals x. 
So sine, so now we can put, well, sine theta is x. So that becomes this. Cos theta would, would be this thing here. And then to get theta, well, well, we said sine theta equals x. So if you want to, if you want to get theta, theta will be inverse sine of x. So you can put this in the theta here. That will then become this block here. And then you've got your constant. So your final answer will be this thing here. Okay.